Hello everyone, in this video on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator, we're gonna talk how do you graph a quadratic function? Okay, so let's look at it. First, I'm gonna turn the calculator on and we're gonna hit Y equals, okay? So now we need to remember a couple things. Our variable X is located right here next to alpha. It says X, T, theta, and then N. So if we just hit that, it gives us an X, right? Okay, another thing we know for a quadratic, we're gonna have an exponent of a two. So if we see this button right here, this is X squared when we hit that it gives us an exponent of a two. Okay, so we're gonna be using both of those keys today. So the, qu the quadratic that we're gonna graph is two x squared plus four x plus one. So there's our quadratic. Now we just can hit graph. And depending on what you've been doing in your calculator, your window or what you see might be a little bit off, right? Or you might be seeing maybe a part of the coordinate plane that you really don't care about. And so here we know, we can see that our quadratic is just really teeny tiny up at the top. So one thing we can do to always go back to our standard zoom, which is negative 10 to 10 on the X and the Y axis, is we can hit zoom and then number six, okay? And so that looks a lot better, but still, even though if we wanted to see it a little bit higher, what we are doing is adjusting our window. So we can hit the window button. And if we wanna see it a little bit higher, we can adjust Y max and let's maybe change it to 20 and then hit graph. And so now we can see a little bit more about what our parabola is doing. And so that's how you graph a quadratic on the TI-84 plus CE. So if you wanna find a couple other things, maybe what's the, what's the zero of the function, right? Where does the parabola cross the x-axis? You can watch the video I'm putting in the top right-hand corner right now, or we can also find what's called the maximum or the minimum. So here in this case, this parabola is opening up. So it would have a minimum point and that's where the vertex is located right here. And so if you wanna learn how to find the minimum or the maximum of a parabola, look at the video in the top right-hand corner right now. That's it for today.